Well, there's another thing that bothers me. Real jiggles my chains. And even breaks my balls. And that is, you go down the road, there's nothing going on. And all you get is, suddenly, as you go around certain corners, you hit that. You hit this big, massive, big tidal wave of red. You're thinking, my God, what the hell is this? And lo and behold, it's where you got, you see, where I happen to go, you got two. Two of the associates do this kind of vocation. And of course, when you're going down there, they go ahead and block the roads. So you go down and block the roads, you can't go nowhere. Nothing to do, no, no how, no going nowhere. And all of a sudden, you're just stuck there and nothing's going to move. So then you go and contact the pals B and they say, well, what's going on, son? I said, well, cuz, you see, what's going on is, it's kind of blocked. I can't go nowhere. Nothing's going nowhere. No, nothing's moving. Nothing. Nope, nothing at all. It don't seem no one bothered about that one bit. So then, as time goes on, you may happen to have the unfortunate thing of some other people upon your vehicle, uh, and they're stuck there. They want to say, hey, hey, son, what's going on? Don't you want to move this thing? I'd like to move this thing. I'd like, I'd like to do the kind of do some moves and moving this thing, but I am guess I'm just kind of stuck here. You know, there's nowhere going, nothing going, nothing moving, no, 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 none. And they turn around and say, well, why don't you move those damn things? I can't move them damn things. They're nothing to do with me. They're just there, and I'm stuck here like you are. And then those say, they go there, oh, yeah, I'm phone up. then you go ahead and phone the police. And then, well, they get on and say, well, yeah, what can I do with this, son? Well, you see, uh, it's like this. I'm trying to get on to my destination. I can't even get on my place to stand in because this damn road is blocked by a sea of an ocean, if you may, of these damn big red things. Is it an ocean, you said? I said, yeah, an ocean. Oh, don't worry, we'll get down there. They don't seem no bugs, no. They just leave it there and you're stuck there for another hour or more. But when they finally move, you then get on your merry way. You can't get to your time, you lost till you stand, and you gotta keep moving. So, here you go, desperately want to go out and leave. You gotta have a whiz. So, what are we gonna have to do? Saw so ourselves? No, that's a good idea. I just stick my little thing out the window and let it go. I said, Don't worry, folk, it's only just a shower. Only a shot, shower, mind. Don't mind me none. And, anyways, then you get to the other end. You just serve your uh, designate, designated place to stop. And there goes the other social. Now they're also bringing their things into their dead down places. And guess what? Here you are, just some things ready to pull away and lo and behold. Yeah, lo and behold, you am well stuck again. This time it's like a brick wall. Nothing but a brick wall of this big red thing and it's blocking your big red thing. You know, you can't go nowhere. Now I start taking your mirror out and saying, Hey, bud, what's going on? Why you, can't you see I'm trying to come out? He just no about none. He shrugs the shoulders, gives you the evil, you give him the evil, and he just carries on park there. Next minute he gets up to Danny and thinks, Oh, that's He's going to leave me now. He's going to, he's going to try and sort something out, yeah? No, the next son of a bitch just carries on walking, and there you are stuck. So they go and do it all over again. You contact Pastor B, and they turn around and say, well, not again. Well, this is the second time you've called me this week. What are you doing, eh, son? Well, why don't you go ahead and believe it? I'm kind of stuck again. This time I can't go nowhere. Nothing's moving up. And I won't mind the damn guys just left his vehicle. His vehicle's just left there, and I'm stuck here right in the middle of nothing. Going nowhere, no how. Nobody wants to get out, nobody wants to get off, and I ain't going nowhere. So anyway, this really breaks my balls even further. So this time, finally, the police do tend to come up. Well, so I thought, it's like. They come up, they look at the mess, and they just keep looking. Look at me, look at that, and then they just carry on. And they're a gone history. I ain't got nothing going, nothing doing, nothing on even moving. And now they're going to leave me there. So anyway, a year later, I finally got to move on. My word, it really broke my balls. And that's what really gets and jingles my chains. How those so many vocationals and associates of this particular vocation, no matter how hard you try, 
here they are, they're gonna get some more, they're gonna get some more, they're gonna block more roads. Why don't they just build a big, uh, big, you know, just stack them up and say, here's a new flat. How about buying this off us? And then we might, might have find, had the gratitude of getting moving. But hey, oh, you know, I don't know, it kind of gets on my, it really kind of gets on my balls an awful lot. And that's the way it goes. And I hate it so much, I wish they'd learn something or two. And then maybe we might get something done. Who knows? I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing of. No, no, I have no nothing.